This is a workshop where they make cutlery. And there are lots of big machines here that are used to make knives, forks and spoons. Cutlery can be made out of different types of metal, such as steel or silver. But in this workshop, all cutlery starts out like this, as a huge sheet of metal called nickel silver. The sheets of metal are pushed through this machine. It's called a press, but it's quite noisy, so I'm going to pop on my ear defenders. The press cuts out shapes in the metal really, really quickly. It works a bit like a cookie cutter. The shapes that have been cut out are called blanks. But what do you think this is going to be? This is going to be a fork, but you couldn't eat with that, could you? Forks have prongs. Those are the spiky bits that you need to poke into food so it's easy to pick up. So this blank needs some prongs. put inside this machine here one at a time. It's called a piercing tool and it cuts three slits into the fork. Can you see the three slits? One, two, three. But what's at this bit at the top? Well, it's called the gate and it keeps the prongs nice and straight until the fork is finished. Next, the handle goes into a really powerful machine called a drop press. Inside the press is one of these. It's called a die. And it presses a pattern onto our fork handle. And if you look closely here, you can see the pattern. But it's really small, isn't it? So let's take a closer look with my special camera. This is a microscope, and it lets me see really small things in lots of detail. Wow! Look at that! In close-up, you can see lots of little circles, and that's the pattern that will be pressed onto the fork. The heavy press drops down onto the fork with 360 tonnes of force. That's the same as 120 elephants stamping down on top of the cutlery. And look, here's the pattern. It looks good, doesn't it? And this machine takes off the gate at the top of the prongs. It's sort of like a set of big green chomping teeth. Oh, can you hear that noise? It's really screechy, isn't it? This is a filing machine. It cuts off tiny bits of metal to make the fork pointy. Now, it really looks like a fork, doesn't it? But it's not quite finished. It's quite dull, not as shiny as the ones we have at home. The forks are given a dip in this container of special chemicals. Inside these pouches, there are blocks of silver. And when the machine is turned on, electricity runs through, which makes the silver stick to the cutlery. And this is called electrolysis. Can you see the forks swaying back and forward? It's a bit like they're dancing, isn't it? This is to make sure that every bit of the fork gets covered in silver. Wow! And there you are, a set of shiny new forks. All finished, ready to eat your dinner with.